Can y'all see my friend? <laughs> she about to help me build this hair boy. Say hey, Nye. Hey, don't mind me because I am. Yeah. So, yeah, we about to build this headboard for my room DIY. We got all this stuff. So, now you ready to be Bob the Builder? Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. So this is all the items that you would need. This is all the stuff that I use for mine. So first off, we started on just taping up the foam paper. All the stuff that I got is from Walmart. And we just taped it up and pretty much we lined them all together. The foam paper, all the foam boards, that's what we did and yeah. And then we used the um, some quilting batting paper from Walmart. This was like um, five dollars, I think. And we just cut the ends off from. We just tried to line it up and stuff, as you can see. right here we just keep cutting until we get enough because we didn't want too much later you'll see that we cut more off because we left too much on and you don't you don't really need that much as you can see all that you don't need all of that and then we started off with hot gluing we used the hot glue we didn't use a, a stapler we should have but the glue work just as good it just takes longer but it's more time consuming and then I just um, pretty much just glued it down, held it for about five seconds. right here we was trying to um kind of put it so it could be more uh stable like in the back but the way we did it this time we made a lot of mistakes as you're gonna see that it's not gonna it's not gonna look like this at the end in the back but we pretty much was trying to make it more like um stable so it won't bend so much because they foam papers and this is how we did it we thought about doing it this way which wasn't a good idea at all but you're going to see later in the video that we changed it up and we were just hot gluing the side, I mean the back to the, uh, the other side. And here we just stood it up to see like exactly how it was going to be with all the uh, poster boards in the back. And then we turned it around and stuff. So, but it didn't work out. We didn't, it didn't, no, it didn't work out at all. And then we used some mattress uh, pads. We used two, uh, I got two twin size mattress pads from Walmart. And this time we was actually cutting 
to actually make it fit on the the board because the, the quilting paper we just we used too much and we realized we didn't need that much so this on the, the mattress pad we just actually used the right the right amount that we actually needed And then that's how that turned out like that. And we had a little extra uh, space, but that's fine. Nothing, you're not going to even be able to see it. And here we just cut, um, cutting out more. We used two, uh, we lay, I mean, we, um, we put two layers on top so it could be more um more thicker and i like that better because we were actually just going to use one but i had to cut off more to the end because we had to use the other half of the other sheet and we and then they had this cat come up to my apartment this cat is always in that apartment building all the time <laughs> So now we just putting on the quilt. I mean the fabric quilt. The fabric. And I got a white one. I liked it though. They just trying to figure out. Uh, space it out. Yep. And then we just hot glue it. On and as you can see, we took off. We cut a lot of the quilt, the uh, the batting paper off, because we didn't. You didn't need. We don't need that much. And then as you can see, yeah, it's a little bit more uh, thinner. And then we just go all the way around and just glue it. And then that's that. And that's I like the way it came. That was coming together. I just loved it. And now we're going to glue on the diamonds, which took forever. So I lost the, the footage of us actually how we put it in there, but it was really simple after we went to the store twice to get other stuff. But that's how that came out pretty much like that. And I was, in, I'm just in love with it. Like I, oh my God, I just love it. And then this is the finishing touch. And it just makes my room just look so much better. Like, I I had to have a headboard. I was just not trying to pay no $200, $300 for no headboard. But that is it. Yes, girl, you better work in my Jeffree Star voice. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you guys liked 